What happens when you complete the Pokedex in every Pokemon game? We left off in the last video by seeing what happens in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and today, we're gonna pick things up with Generation 5, Pokemon Black, White, and the sequels. Pokemon Black and White increased the total national dex number up to 649. We've definitely come a long way from the days of Bulbasaur to Mew. Now obviously, with that many Pokemon to catch now, completing the Pokedex in these games is not going to be an easy task. And on top of that, even if you have all four of these games, you still can't complete the National Pokedex. Just like with Gold and Silver, there are lots of Pokemon, like starters, that you simply can't catch in these games, and you'll need to tediously transfer them over from previous generations. When you eventually complete the Pokédex, this is what it would look like in black and white. Why, hello Poketip, how have you been lately? How is your Pokédex coming along? Can I see it? Let me see. Oh, you've caught 156 Pokémon in the Unova region. Amazing! Absolutely amazing! You've caught every Pokémon in the Unova region. Congratulations! Keep up the good work. Now if we run to the other side of the lab, we could talk to Professor Juniper's dad, Cedric, and he'll rate our national Pokédex. Hey, Poketip, so you're here to show me how your Pokédex is coming along, right? I see. You've caught 649 Pokémon, then. This blows me away! It's so wonderful! I'm at a loss for words. You, you've accomplished something truly outstanding. Filling up the National Pokedex makes you a trainer among trainers. I'm so happy I was able to meet a fantastic trainer like you. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Aww. So once again, you get a nice little pat on the back, but at least they're enthusiastic about it. But when we move on to Black and White too. Oh, this game is the gold standard for rewards for completing the Pokedex. Let's talk to her one more time. Hi there, how have you been doing lately? How is your Pokedex coming along? Can I see it? Oh, you've seen 301 Pokemon in the Unova region. So once again, we hear that catchy little theme music, but we're gonna go ahead and see something a little different this time. It seems like you are meeting Pokemon at a good clip. Here, this is a gift to thank you for all of your hard work and we get something special, the Permit. If you have a Permit, you can go to the Nature Preserve from Mr. Alton City by plane. Go check it out and see what kind of place it is. Keep up the good work. And just like that, just for seeing all of the Pokémon in the Unova region, you know, minus the mythical Pokémon, you don't need those, you get access to a special area. Let's go check it out. Oh, that's a permit! That lets you enter the Nature Preserve, which is far, far away from the Unova region. Would you like to go to the Nature Preserve then? Yes! Okay, we will contact Skyla, so please board the plane and wait. And here we are, we've arrived at the Nature Preserve. Now once again, this is a special area that you can only access by seeing all the Pokémon in the Unova Region Pokédex in Pokémon Black and White 2. Now this place is kind of crazy, it doesn't even show up on the town map when you try to check it out. Now there's a few things that make this place pretty cool. For starters, you could find a few special Pokémon here that you can't find anywhere else in the Unova region, like Girafferig and Kecleon, but the main reason that you'd want to come here is because this little guy is standing right in the middle. Now this, my friends, is one of the few guaranteed shiny Pokémon that you'll catch in the Pokémon series. Let's go ahead and talk to it. Guau! For just seeing, not even catching all the Pokémon in the Unova Pokédex, the game rewards you with a shiny Pokémon, something that in these games you normally have a 1 in 8,192 chance of encountering. On top of that, this shiny looks awesome. Another little fun fact about the Nature Preserve is both Magikarp and Gyarados can appear in the water here, anywhere from level 1 all the way to level 100. With that done, let's go back to the lab, because we're not even finished collecting all of our rewards. 
Now when we go back to the lab, she'll actually give us another reward, this time for catching all of the Pokemon of the Unova region. She'll give us a special new item called the Oval Charm, which will increase the chance of you getting an egg from the Pokemon Daycare or Nursery. And then last but not least, for completing the National Dex and catching all of the Pokémon, you could go back to her a third time and she will give you another new item called the Shiny Charm. Now remember before how I said that these games have a shiny encounter chance of 1 in 8,192? By having this special shiny charm in your bag, your chances of getting a shiny Pokemon actually increase by a lot, giving you roughly a 1 in 2,731 chance of just running into a random shiny. Now again, that still seems very high, but one, it's a lot better than just the standard shiny rates, and two, you can combine it with other ways to increase your shiny rate, like the Masuda breeding method, and overall, you could bring that shiny rate down significantly and make it a lot easier to find shiny Pokémon. With Pokemon Black and White 2, it finally feels like you're being properly rewarded for completing the Pokédex. And with all of that excitement, we forgot to go get our diplomas. To get the diploma in the Generation 5 games, we're gonna go to Castelia City. Here, Game Freak has their own building with 22 floors. Now, before we go get our diplomas, there's a cool little easter egg in this room that I want to show you. When you talk to this man with the blue hair over here, he'll actually change the music in this room to the Team Rocket Radio Takeover theme. So with that playing in the background, let's go pick up our diplomas for completing the Pokédex. Hi there, I'm the game director. Oh, you've caught every kind of Pokémon in Unova. Wow, excellent, we'll give you an award. And since we have the completed National Dex as well, we could leave, come back in the room and talk to the guy again, and he'll give us a second diploma. Hear what all four of the diplomas across the four games look like. And the best part is, once you get these diplomas, if you go back to your house and go to your room, you'll see both of these diplomas sitting on your desk. Woo, alright, that was a lot of content for completing the Pokedex in the Generation 5 games. Now, let's talk about Generation 6, Pokemon X and Y. As of Pokemon X and Y, there are now 721 total Pokemon. Wow! The good news is, between X, Y, Omega Ruby, and Alpha Sapphire, you can actually complete the whole National Pokedex minus the event Pokemon without needing to transfer Pokemon from older games. With that said, let's go visit Professor Sycamore in Lumio City and see what he says about our completed Pokedex. Well now, let's have a look at your Pokédex. So the Kalos Pokédex is split into three different categories, Central Kalos, Coastal Kalos, and Mountain Kalos, and then finally, there's the National Pokédex. So let's get our Kalos Pokédexes evaluated first. Hmm, so you've seen 153 kinds of Pokémon in Central Kalos then. That is a long celebration theme. Congratulations! You've encountered every kind of Pokémon in the Central Kalos area. Well now, let's have a look at your Pokédex. And he basically says the same thing about the other two Kalos Pokédexes, so let's just skip right to the good stuff. You're encountering Pokémon at a really good clip, aren't you? I want to give you this to help you reach your goal. And once again, we get the Oval Charm for completing the regional Pokédex. So with that in our hands, I'm sure you know what we're going to get from completing the National Pokédex, but let's go ahead and talk to him anyway. You've caught a total of 721 kinds of Pokémon. Fantastic! And you caught 457 of those Pokémon species in the Kalos region. How fantastic! You've caught every kind of Pokémon in the Kalos region. Congratulations! This is such an emotional moment. I'm so lucky to have met you. This Pokédex could not have been completed without the sweat and hard work you put in as a Pokémon trainer. It's a one-of-a-kind treasure chest packed full of your dreams. You're encountering Pokémon at a really good clip, aren't you? I want to give you this to help you reach your goal. 
And now we get the shiny charm. Now, if you thought the shiny charm was good in Pokemon Black and White 2, it's even better in X and Y. One of the changes from Generation 5 to Generation 6 was increasing the chance of encountering a shiny. Now, the shiny encounter rate is 1 in 4096, and with the shiny charm, you could get that rate down to 1 in 1365. And once again, this stacks with other ways to increase your shiny rate as well. So thank you very much, Professor Sycamore, for all the rewards, although you sound strangely like Professor Juniper. Now, to get our diploma, we're gonna go to Kumarine City. We could find the Game Freak people hanging out in the Hotel Kumarine, which is kind of a downgrade from their giant building they had back in black and white. Now, getting your diploma is almost like playing a game of hide and seek, because you need to go to Kumarine City, take the monorail, then go to a hotel, go to the second floor, and all the way in the corner, you'll finally find the game director. Hello! I am the game director. Ah, you've caught every Pokemon in Central Kalos. And without any help, that is amazing. Here's an award. Here's what the rest of the Kalos Regional Pokedex Diplomas look like. And last but not least, the National Pokedex Diploma. Now that looks awesome. Out of all the diplomas I've gotten so far, this one definitely is my favorite. And finally, we reach the current generation as of the time I'm making this video. Generation 7 with Pokemon Sun, Moon, and the Ultra Games. Completing the Pokedex in these games takes a weird turn. Even though Ultra Sun and Moon brought the total Pokedex number up to 807, to complete the Pokedex, you won't have to catch anywhere near that amount of Pokemon. See, Pokemon Sun and Moon removed the National Dex and instead only has a Regional Pokedex. That means there's only Pokedex entries for 302 Pokemon in the regular Sun and Moon and 403 in Ultra Sun and Moon. So what about the other hundreds of Pokemon? Well, they still can all be either captured or transferred into Sun and Moon, however they won't have Pokedex entries in-game. With that being said, let's go see how Professor Kukui reacts to our completed Pokedex. Hey there, Poketips. Looks like you're really giving it your all, yeah? You've got a lot of Pokemon registered in your Pokedex now. Of course he has. Poketips is my big boy! I wouldn't bother hanging out with some lug of a trainer who couldn't fill a Pokédex. Zzzz. Haha, <laughs> Rotom's pretty fired up about it too. Of course, I am too. So I've got a little something for you. And we get a Lucky Egg. Now just to clear up any confusion here, this Lucky Egg is not the reward for completing the Pokédex. You could actually come here way earlier on in the game once you have 50 Pokémon registered in your Pokédex, and he'll go ahead and give that to you. So let's talk to him again and see if he gives us anything else. Hmm, looks like nothing. Maybe if I leave and come back in, he'll say something different? No, it looks like all that matters to him is you registering 50 Pokemon in the Pokedex. After that, he doesn't care anymore. But you want to know who does care? Rotom. So in this game, the Rotom Pokedex can actually evaluate itself. That's definitely a Pokemon first. <laughs> You've done it, kid. You've really gone and done it! You completed the Alola Pokedex! You've met every last Pokemon that lives in the Alola region! I thank my lucky circuits that I was here in this Dex to meet all those different Pokemon and share all those great adventures with you, partner. Congratulations to you, kid. You really deserve them. Alright, now let's go talk to the Diploma Man. I'm the Game Director! Now let me see that Pokedex of yours. You registered every last Pokemon that can be found on Meli Meli Island. You've completed the Meli Meli Pokedex! That's fantastic! Let me give you a new stamp to commemorate how you completed this Island Pokedex. That's right, in this game, you don't get diplomas, instead you get stamps. You get one stamp for each island, and then one final stamp for completing the whole Alola Pokedex. Now, stamps are nice and all, but honestly, I like the diplomas a little bit better. And like usual, the new tradition is, once you complete the whole Pokedex, you also get the Shiny Charm. 
Now, if you're playing Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, you also get one more bonus when you come here. And that's not all, here's a little something special that would go well on a tireless trainer like you, who's been running all around Alola to fill in your Pokédex. And in this game, for completing the whole Pokédex, he gives us the special Karate Gi jacket and Karate Gi pants, so we could come back and match with this guy. Now if you play as a girl, instead of getting the Karate Gi, you'll actually get a nurse outfit instead. And with that, my friends, you now know what happens when you complete the Pokédex in seven different generations of Pokémon. It really is amazing to look back at all of this and see how the rewards have grown over the years. I'm very curious to see what the rewards are going to be like in Pokémon Sword and Shield. If you guys want, I could do a part 3 covering the remake Pokémon games like Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, so definitely let me know in the comments section if you want to see that. As always, my friends, thank you so much for watching the video, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new for more Pokemon content, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.